in the previous clipping we were talking about the Bastar rebellion. Now let's see what were the fears of the people which actually made them rebel. The first was the 1905 Forest Act according to which the two-third forest was kept as reserved forest where the villagers were not allowed to enter at all and certain villagers of course were allowed to stay on if they actually promised the government that they would help them in felling trees and of course helping them for all other activities. So these villages were called as the reserved villages or the forest villages. But not all villages were so lucky. Many of them were displaced without giving any notice or compensation, which naturally gave fear in the minds of the villagers. They lost their livelihood, they were in danger, so therefore they rebelled against the British Raj. Here we see that discussions were held about what the foreign rule was doing in the forests. They were displacing them, they were taking away their livelihoods, the discussions were made in the bazaars, discussions were made in the houses, in the gatherings and it were the Dhurvas of the Kangar forest who started with the rebellion and their leader of course which is said to be an important figure was Gundadhur. Now Gundadhur whenever he had to give a message that they have to start with the rebellion or they have to rebel against the Britishers, the symbols were a mango bough, lump of earth and chilies. This was a message, let's start with the rebellion and in the rebellion what was done? The markets were looted, police stations were burnt, official houses were burnt to see that destruction is there all around and the officials get terrorized. But the Britishers suppressed the rebellion with an iron hand but they were unable to catch Gundadhur. The only good thing that came out of the rebellion was that the work of the reservation of forest was suspended for the time being and the area to be reserved or to be made into reserved forest was decreased to nearly half. Now after independence also there have been attacked by the Indian government on the people. That is in the year 1970, 4,600 hectares of pine trees were to be planted for paper, which means destroying the earlier trees which were there. It were only the environmentalists who intervened and the project was stopped. So whether it was the British Raj or the Indian independent government all have played a havoc in the life of the forest villages. And I continue with the rest of it in the next clipping.